Let me stay with you uh, very briefly, Rosemary, since you are on the ground in Tanzania. Um, you just uh, you just celebrated uh, 50 years of uh, political, some might say, flag independence. Is that Tanzania yes. or is it uh, mainland Tanzania that some might call Tanganyika? Because the last time I checked, uh, it was Tanganyika, in fact, that got independence in 1961, Zanzibar getting its own. 1964. <laughs> that, that's, that's the catch-22, uh, Shaka. As you know, as uh, the country is, is, is now into, you know, this whole of um, uh, new constitution, uh, the question is who, who, who are we? But, I mean, uh, talking about the country, we are referring to the United Republic of Tanzania, much as you say, it's, uh, scientifically, um, it, it is definitely the country that got its independence 50 years ago, which is Tanganyika then. I see. Uh, I recall that uh, back in 1970, when then uh, President uh, Julius Kambarage Nyerere was being asked uh, what was his uh, perhaps uh, single most important accomplishment, uh, you know, during. Uh, the nine, ten years that he had actually been in charge, and he said Tanzania has been able to survive. Now that you have actually been uh, politically independent uh, for the last 50 years, what would you say is the single most important accomplishment, frankly, that uh, the United Republic of Tanzania has accomplished? I think one of, uh, of, of, of the things that I, as a, as a, as a Tanzanian, who I mean, uh, recognize uh, for will be our role in the political independence of the southern, you know, part of the continent. But I, internally, I think that, yes, there are achievements. We have more challenges, I think we have more challenges in the country where we are than what we can record as this historical, I mean, I mean um, yardsticks over time since. 50 years ago. I see. How do you respond to some people who are so curious as to why, for example, given that Tanzania is a member of the regional East African community, how come there was not a single, a single head of state from <laughs> the, five, the, four members, the four other members of the East African community, frankly, attending those celebrations, those important celebrations? It, it is topical, and uh, the media has been, I mean, picking uh, it spontaneously. Um, uh, we, we know, for example, the foreign minister had a whole, I mean, age of responses to what really happened. But, uh, you know, it ranges from, you know, having invited the office and not personalities. Others are arguing that, I mean, it's, as long as they were represented, but I, as, as, as Rosemary, I think to be justice to the people of this country, we definitely expected more than that. This is not just an ordinary birthday party or annual anniversary. It is 50 years, Shaka. It is 50 years of our independence. And yes, they, 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 we, we do, the, it's obvious that there are issues on the ground, but I think for me, at the end of the day, is to what is actually, as a country, who are we, and uh, what, what do we want out of these original uh, integrations and French as people, as, as a country? So I think it's not just about Tanzania. If you look at the, uh, the region right now, the whole issue is what do we want out of EAC? Is it's still debatable, ranging from uh, not just about you know the, the 50th anniversary, but looking at what, for example, our president role during the 2008 standoff of Kenya. One would have expected uh, Kenya, for example, to have given us a more a visible, you know, presence of themselves during this time. But again, we go down and ask ourselves, are we really committed to EAC? And at the end of the day, what what is there for, for us, us as, as a country, us as a region? Definitely, there is a, I mean, I mean, um, disconnect in terms of expectations between the political regime of the country vis-à-vis uh, -vis its people. I mean, Tanzanians have been raising lots of issues as to what is, what is 
there for, for the Tanzanians, I mean, uh, in terms of priorities, what are we getting out of the regional, you know, relation? Is it just historical because it happened at that time? Are we ready to look at it openly and really identify as a country who do we want to be friends with, who do we want to retain as neighbors, for example? And unless these issues are discussed, it's going to be very difficult. And, and we as people on the ground are pushing for a visible and very clear definition of, of this kind of partnership so that our expectations are managed. Very interesting. Um, in addition, of course, one might also say that uh, Tanzania played a very significant role in uh, the removal uh, of Ugandan dictator Field Marshal Idi Amin Dada back in 1979 and that uh, it was, in fact, uh, yes, the University of East Africa, but uh, in fact the Dar es Salaam campus, where the incumbent Ugandan president, Yoweri Museveni, went to school. And, and, and many others have been looking at it now. For example, the, um, the Attorney General of, of, of Kenya, I think, went through, through, through that, that college, and many, and, and, and many others. But again, I mean, we, we don't want to blame people. We want to be able to identify what are our controllable variables, mm -hmm. for example. And I'm still going back to saying, what is our foreign policy in the region? I think it's again looking at uh, now 50 years from where we came from during, you know, the times of, you know, Mwalimu Nyerere and uh, even after that, we were kind of, you know, uh, a bit, a lot more clear of, of what we want and, and who we are in any of this partnership. So I think I'm not blaming my government, but I'm saying I think there is a need to not feel shy of, of, of a, a, a attending to these issues. And let's not hide behind, you know, it happened, it's normal, it's definitely not normal. If I invite a, a, a lady of the house, of, of a neighbor, and they send me some, you know, aunties and uncles, it, it's not normal, it's not normal. Maybe everybody's too busy, but definitely there is the need, if we are to parade as, as, as we claim that this is uh, one of the, you know, partnership uh, of choice that the whole world of Africa should be proud of. We need to, to, to walk the talk. Interesting. Right now, but again, maybe it's an opportunity now after this that, you know, the, the, the country sit down and decide as to where they want to go. Because people are asking, not just us, people within the country, people within the region, people globally. You are asking, Shaka, what is happening at home. Interesting, interesting.